like the fact that these are like 500 seconds long is just terrible. So 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42. That's like seven minutes. Unless my math is <gasps> oh, really. All right. Well, greetings and salutations. I have been waiting a little bit of time for this game. It is called Leanyboog and is also very similar to games that you probably already know, like Finance of Freddy's and fuck, I can't think of the other ones, but basically the whole backdrop of this game from what I've seen is that you have to stop this little asshole right here is terrifying. This very terrifying wolf from getting this out of your home. And based on the screenshots, I mean, it looks it looks very good. I think for right now, we're going to stick to medium. I don't know if like completing a game on hard or expert or whatever it said is going to actually like do something else. I know that another is like secrets for this game as well. Oh, my goodness. And here we are. <gasps> Find the noise source. We're not actually finding a key. There is somebody already in here. One minute into this game. Oh, man. Can you please just be nice? <gasps> run! Yes, I am! Yes, that is right. I will run. If that's what you want me to do, where am I going? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. I, I think I literally ran back to where he was. Oh my goodness, I was so <gasps> What the Dude It is literally two minutes into this game and I'm already terrified this thing. Not so long ago, we received information that shortly before his disappearance, Subject 88 visited his relatives in the vicinity of New Garage. According to our data, Subject 88 left a certain envelope in the house, the contents of which are still considered unknown. In addition, we learned that the attacker who committed the brutal murder of a security guard in the archive last week stole data about this house. Probably the attacker is also looking for this envelope. What's in the envelope? Dude, what's in the envelope? How to play? Your task is to listen carefully to which part of the house the monster is running to, so that you can close the window in time. To close the window, hold down the E key. Oh, we're literally starting. I don't know how to get around here, you asshole. So again, like I was saying, um, I I think I think <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm dead, really? Oh geez, I didn't know that. I think I just got mauled and I survived. And maybe him and I are best friends now. It is this one. Dude, he's already inside. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, dude. We're like not even like 30 seconds into it. He's already inside. You this is this is going to be a pain. Stop it. Jesus. Okay. So yeah, that is the case. So every time I hear a beep, I can just let go. Also, he is fucking terrifying. And like, I have to remain vigilant because when I talk, he is moving. Oh. Wait. Is he already up here? Dude, no, it's oh, my God, I, well, I'm dead. We had to survive a little, literally 500 seconds. <laughs> Damn it, dude, this is so fucking hard. Mm. 
Oh my goodness, we're just under 100 seconds. Gotta pay attention. So the reason why he's standing in the middle is because I can hear if he goes right or left. Like, I don't know if you can hear it, but... Oh no, he jumped down! Oh my goodness, that could have been really bad. That could have been so fucking bad. <sighs> Are we just going to keep bouncing up and down now? So that little little thumping noise is what makes him go up go upstairs. And then the second beep is what allows me to cancel the, the window. Why is he getting ambient? Please stop. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, finally. My goodness, man. According to our data, the son and father of Subject 88 live in this house. The father is currently away. As everyone knows, representatives of the Brevis Homo race have a small stature, thanks to which the son of Subject 88 managed to leave without leaving any traces. After a search of the house, the same print was found as in the infamous archive. Apparently it was the same killer. After analyzing the phone calls, we found out that a certain citizen living in the Artacticon district called this house the other day, before our arrival. It was clear from the style of communication that they knew each other. They were talking about the same envelope that Subject 88 left. At the end of the conversation, they agreed to meet. What was in the envelope, man? I just want to know what's inside of it. You shouldn't be keeping this a secret. Find apartment number 17. Oh, dude, we're like we're in a completely different game now. Unless we are going to be doing the same thing. It's just a different, different, um, different outlay this time. And this doesn't even look like apartments, it just looks like something you keep, like, prisoners in. Like, look at this. What, we go 9 to 13? Why is 10, 14, 15? <gasps> oh, no, dude, this is horrible. You're, you're telling me I have to go back there facing this terrifying wolf. I don't think so. Dude, what is up with this game, man? <sighs> and I'm definitely not going back down there. You're out of your fucking mind if you want me to go back down there. Here it is, number 17, but let's make sure we're not missing anything else. You never know, this, this guy could be hiding some secrets, and I, and I know there is some secrets in this game that I do gotta find. There is, um... There, there is some guy that was talking about... Oh my, we can't even go up there. There is, there is some guy talking about, if you start this game at exactly 12 o'clock, midnight, that something interesting happens. So I definitely want to do that, you can just change them. You can, change the, you can change the time inside of your, your menu. One, two, three. Buddy, can you hear me? I can hear I you. I hope so. I apologize for not being able to meet you in person. I have my own reasons for this. I really hope you have the envelope. Your father risked everything to prevent this envelope from falling into the hands of the Collectionarium. Or even worse, into the hands of the creature that is now on your tail. Don't worry. 
He won't be able to get into this apartment. I've taken care of that. You're lying. The most important thing to remember is one thing. Do not open the envelope in any case. Oh my god. This can lead to sad consequences not only for you, but also for everyone around you. We have too little time. I have no right to detain you. Take this walkie-talkie. I'll help you from time to time. You can find a train ticket in the next room. It will take you to the right place. When you arrive at your destination, I'll contact you again. Oh, it's in here. Oh my... Goodness. What has happened here? Okay, this is some apartment by two shady men. More shady men. It looks like there's some type of like secret servers or something like that. It's this is basically the same picture as this one. And it's the terrifying wolf man. Oh my goodness. Is there anything else I could take? This is this is definitely a collar right here. This is the half of right here, and then this is the other half. Ooh, what what if what if I'm gonna be actually like detaining this wolf? Here we go again. I'm just going to try to fi- I don't know if that was what I was supposed to do, but I think... I think we're okay. I, I guess I'm just- Can I leave? Dude, it's, it's not even giving me an option. Oh! Wait, are you kidding me? Is he already inside? Oh, dude, this is fucking awful. Dude, like, look at this. Like, I, I guess I'm just going to sit in here. What? He's coming, but not that not in that way. That's fucking weird. Don't even. Why would you? Why would you think that, dude? Like, I, I guess I literally have to wait until this guy is at the window before I, I leave. Oh my goodness! That's what I'm supposed to do. I think it's fucking terrifying, man. Why do why did this fucking happen? Why did this happen? Are you? F this is horrible. I'm scared, and I don't want to be inside of this. And this is my this is still my first attempt. We're doing so good. We're, do we're doing really good, but this guy is gonna fucking ruin it. I know this guy is. This guy has been a complete asshole so far. Literally, all you have to do is just stare at this window and then fastly quick click Q and F pretty much simultaneously to get the fuck out of here. Like the fact that these are like 500 seconds long is just terrible. So 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42. That's like seven minutes. Unless my math is <sighs> Really? You changed the f fucking keys on me, you did. You changed the fucking keys on me, you piece of shit.
I have never seen anything like this. I the thing is, I I, I actually knew they were gonna do this. I, I knew at some point they were gonna fucking do that, and they did it. They literally fucking did it. <sighs> Come on. 34 seconds. <sighs> Come on. This is terrifying. 20 seconds. Please. Oh no. Here comes the ambience. Uh, please. Yes, I think this is it. Yes, it's it, baby. Oh my goodness. I could have put it to easy, but I didn't. It remained in medium. What is Check this? 321. There's a security post to your right. The door should open soon. This looks like a well, yeah, a, a security room. But for what type of facility? I don't know. Do you see the generator? I see After the generator. It will open a large gate. There won't be anyone inside. I've taken care of that. What? We can only hope that this creature has lost you. So, the drawings indicate that four generators will be waiting for you inside. After they are turned on, the gate to the disintegration room will open. No. You'll have to take this envelope there. And after you go inside, I won't be able to help you anymore. You'll have to do everything yourself. The main thing is, don't worry. Everything will be fine. Good luck, buddy. You didn't even help me to begin with, dude. Like, has he given me, like, any helpful advice during the time I was in that last level? No, you have not. So this guy is lying. He is lying to your face. I just want to make sure there's nothing else in the room. And I looked around and there's a three. There is literally a three right there. I don't know if that has to do with any sort of code. I mean, we'll, we'll have to see in a little bit, but I'll keep a mental note right now that there is literally just a random three just sitting there and we will start this generator oh man oh it's for this out here let's go it's, it's, it's time to God. I'm just spamming F uh. why did you fucking do this why did you do this? That's not funny. It's not cute. Wh where is his flashlight? I... What? This is the flashlight? I mean, I'm not gonna lie. You, you, you fucking got me there, dude. But just... R really there? Out of all places? Jesus, man. That is unreal. Let's see. Let's see what he has to say. How to play. Your task is to activate four generators. After the activation, the big doors will open. The only way to survive when encountering the monster is to shine the light in his face. To turn on the flashlight, hold down the F key. If you release a flashlight button before turning it on, it will temporarily fail. To sprint, hold down the shift key. I guess we'll go this way. Oh man, and we have a fucking sprint bar down there. So I guess I'm not I'm not gonna run at all until I see him. And there it is again. Terrible ambience. I mean I can't wait to see how nightmare mode is. 
It's it's really gonna be all depending on the next few levels. What? If these are like ridiculously hard on medium, then I'm probably not gonna do nightmare mode. But again, we'll have to see. I've noticed that it's all just seems to be like one big pattern. It's just all one big pattern. Once you once you get it down, it's like that's pretty much it. But <laughs> thank you for your footsteps, Mister. Really? Where was those footsteps? I heard them like at the very last second. You cannot sit here and tell me that this is the way we're gonna play this. When your footsteps sound like you're just tiptoeing across the valley through the hills. My goodness, what has this turned into? All right, so I think this might be it. I, I figured out I figured out how to finally defeat this thing. So what I've been doing wrong the entire time is. Come here, please come here. Yes, just like this, just like this. You had to hold it for a certain amount of time. But oh my goodness, where is it? You're telling me, dude, I, this is not the time to play with me right now. And another thing that makes this thing fucking terrible is that these are randomly generated. Like for the past like 10 attempts, they were in the same spots, but not this time, apparently. It has to be right here. Yes. But we, we gotta hurry. We gotta hurry and get out. We gotta hurry and get out because this thing is coming. There he is. There he is. What? No, dude! Dude, this is not the time to play around me. Yes! This is it. This is it. 4 or 4. We gotta go. We gotta move it. Also, I can't hear anything. Which is what they want! This is it, this is it, this is it! This is the last one, we're very close. Dude, we just gotta fucking go. We're holding this, we're holding this thing. God, I can't hear a thing. We, we just, we just have to hope and pray. It's literally right here. It is a little, please give me the option. Please hurry. We're good, we're good. We're just gonna hold it like this. He can't hurt me when I'm facing this way. Yes. Oh my fucking goodness, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say no to nightmare mode.
No, man. No, it's letting me. It's giving me a choice. No, I can't. I won't do this. I, I'm going back. I'm turning my back on you. I'm turning my back. I'm turning my back on you. I will not. We are leaving this place at once. We're not doing this. Oh, man. It's so Don't, can we not do this right now? It's a bridge. Oh, dude, please stop the noises. I don't care for the noises. Hello? What the fuck? What the fuck? What have I done? Tell me what I did. What did I do to deserve this? Tell me that was actually it. Wait a second, so th there could be two different because when you go over there, you could still probably come back. So what would happen if I go to that guy first, see him, and then come back over here? We'll, we'll, first, we'll first try this. Oh, man. I mean, I can't see I didn't see that coming. We were best friends. Okay, and now was the second ending, but now you got me convinced that you 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 really have me convinced that if I go to that guy and then come back, something else will happen. Dude, I'm telling you, I, I guess I'll do a separate video for Secrets Easter Eggs. I found quite a few so far. I found a six lying around. I found something behind the curtains. So I think we'll we'll probably have to make another video of the secrets and stuff like that because I enjoyed this. I really enjoyed it a lot. It was a lot of fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure to drop a like. Make sure to drop a subscription. Make sure to share with all your handsome biscuits. And with that said, I hope to see you in some future fucking whatever the hell this is called game. See ya.